What's going on guys? Zach from Southern Thunder Harley Davidson here in South Haven, Mississippi. It is a warm January day and today I've got this awesome, awesome bike that we just got in. Go ahead and cue the intro. All right, guys, welcome back and check it out. This is the all new 2023 Harley Davidson Pan America Special. And this bike here is equipped with a cornucopia of technology. And I'm super excited to talk about it. Uh, the first thing I want to get into is going to be the powertrain here. It uh, doesn't have your typical powertrain. This is going to be equipped with the uh, 1250 Revolution Max powertrain and it is backed with a six speed transmission. Now this, uh, this powertrain here is fully liquid cooled. Yes, fully liquid cooled. It's always gonna maintain operation temperature and it's gonna be pumping out about 150 horsepower, which is absolutely wicked. Uh, as you can see there in the front, that's where your radiator is in between your fog lights there. Uh, one thing I really like that they did with the front of this bike, you see the railing there uh, with the fog lights. It kind of gives it that rugged look, like it's built for the off-road, which is what it is. It's gonna have that two into one uh, exhaust system there, which we all know that's where you make your power. And it's gonna be uh, equipped with a six gallon fuel cell. So you guys can go on those long distance trips and you have plenty of time to go out and explore. Now you do have the laced wheels on this model. Uh, it is optional to come with the laced wheels or you can get the cast wheels. I like the laced wheels. Everybody's preference is different, uh, but in my opinion, they're quick. They're easy to change out. Uh, and they're built to withstand and flex under different uh, terrains. So uh, the other thing here, your chain is very easily accessible. So if you need to swap it out, uh, maybe put some uh, oil on it, lubrication or anything of that nature, uh, it's easy to do so. As you can see, I've got it on the, uh, the center jack stand there. It's actually really, really simple to do by yourself. So that was one thing I really liked about it. Not only this bike is rugged and capable of uh, all terrains, it's also easily maintainable as well too. So uh, up here on the front on your infotainment center, you got your little screen there. And I really like what they did with this bike. They've got everything nice and sleek and compact, uh, which is really, really nice. We're gonna go ahead and flip the ignition switch on here. Now on your right side, you're gonna have your volume control, your play and pause button. That's gonna be if you wanna Bluetooth your phone to the, uh, to the bike and listen to your music. Your trash control button's there and your voice command button is there. And on the top, you got your hazards and your mode selector. This bike is gonna come equipped with four different mode selectors. Right now we're in road mode. You got sport, off-road, and rain. So you got a mode for any, any kind of uh, riding condition you might find yourself in. Now let's come over here to the left side. This is gonna be your selector button here. You got your home screen, your menu selector, and then of course your uh, directional pad right there. On the top, you've got your cruise control, your flash to pass, and your bright, bright lights there. You got your cruise control, your heated grips, and of course your trip button there. And your trip, it'll tell you your trip A, trip B, odometer, temperature, and back to your range. So you got a lot of information that this bike displays for you. Uh, the blinking light there, that's gonna be the electronic suspension control, which this bike has. So what happens is when you come to a stop, the bike will lower itself down so you can firmly plant both feet on the ground and then it'll raise back up when you get ready to go, which is really, really, really cool. Back over here to your menu screen, you got your navigation, music, and vehicle diagnostics. Now, if you wanna use the navigation, you have to use this app on your phone, which will help link it to the bike and you can use your own navigation from your phone, which is really cool. Over here to your diagnostics, you got your front tire pressure, rear tire pressure, temperature, volts, and if you click on the diagnostics, it'll actually pull codes, so you can do a whole self-diagnosis on this bike while you're out in the field and exploring, which is really cool. You do have an adjustable windshield. Use this lever here to raise and lower it. I prefer it down, but everybody's preference is different. You're gonna have adjustable clutch levers 
and brake levers, which is really cool. And of course, my favorite, the steering stabilizer there. This bike is an absolute blast to ride. And if you guys wanna find out more information, come see myself, Zach, or any one of my teammates, and we'd be happy to get you going on this bike. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. And like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.